feels like a spell I'd never love you I wish I could stop this love Just a quick note before we start, you will notice throughout the video that I have a lot of redness and dark circles underneath my eyes. That's fine, it's just that I have fibromyalgia and I didn't realise that the lighting was kind of bad in most of the video that I actually created. I'm too tired to redo it, but after I finished and I was watching the video, I thought, oh no. I look like I haven't slept in days. I have, it's just the condition that I have. It makes me look incredibly tired a lot of the time. So yeah, enjoy the video. Greetings darklings, welcome back to the Emporium. Today we're doing super cool DIY labels and bottles, like so. I decided that I wanted to do something which was going to be easy and basically just allowing us to fill our homes with things that make us feel good. I mean, you go to the store and you buy things like soap and hand sanitizer and wine, and it's not gothic, it's not, you know, it, it's not feeding the darkness within the soul. So if we start tarting up our own bottles, then at least we can feel like our homes are a little bit more representative of us. So. On the website there is a section on the navigational bar that says freebies and downloads. Click on that and you will find these. I have made <laughs> all different ones. I love, love hand sanitizer. I use it a lot. I know it's kind of controversial at the moment of using antibacterial things but I do like to use it a lot. So this one is my anti-plague and what I've done, I'm going to show you different ones. But I bought three different colours of soap dye. I will put the link in the description below. I got them from eBay. So what I basically did was I just got a regular nice little bottle. That I think this was um, Lidl's version of like a Bayliss and Harding rip-off thing. So yeah, yeah, it smells really good. I love the hand soap, I'm using them for my other ones, but when I had the empty bottle, cleaned it out and I put the drips on the top of the bottles. Um, two bottles have the drips and they've been created like so. Using a glue gun, start with a big blob at the bottom and drag upwards. That creates a more organic and natural look. Think of it as a tadpole and it's running down the bottle making sure the head is at the base. Once I've done that, I then painted them and this is the finished result. I absolutely adore it. What I'm missing now to finish off my label is some Mod Podge, but I've managed to misplace it. As I say in every video, I've misplaced something and it's just the way I am. Brain fog, fibro fog, I, I don't know what I do with things. If I didn't tidy up and I just left everything lying around, I'd know where everything was, but that's what happens when you tidy up. So this one, I'm not impressed with the soap dye that I bought for this one because I used quite a lot of the colour. So I will be um, contacting the eBay supplier. The other colours were fantastic. So this one's the red one. Um, they're kind of just 10 mil, and I think they were £1.90. And I only needed about six or seven drops of the red one. To create, this one's my favourite I think, the, the Countess Bathory Beautifying Virgin Blood Soap. And again I just did my little drips on the top and I even painted the, um, I hope you can see it, put a little bit of blood around the edge there. I use nail varnish 
for these because you want something that's going to be easy to put on and is not going to be coming off with water. Acrylic paint it would probably start chipping and coming off whereas nail varnish generally everybody's got different coloured nail polishes around so I just use that and this is the finished result. I absolutely adore it. I've wanted something blathery or bathery, can never say it correctly, uh, related since I was quite young. And the last one I did, I used black soap dye for this one and I created the Raven's Talisman. I just decided to put a few little um, rhinestones across the top. This part actually came in silver so I just painted it and then I painted over it with a sparkly black nail polish. I hope you can see it. And then the rhinestones and the Raven Talisman Botanical Soap. I am loving these. It was so simple. I planned on like showing you step by step of what I did. And then I thought, well, that's mildly patronizing to be like oh step by step first of all I printed the image secondly I cut the image out third I glued it onto the bottle it just so if I tell you guys what to do what I did you can tart it up in any way that you see fit another one which I'm super super excited about is my wine bottle labels now you will see I've kept it in because I wanted to kind of warn you learn by my mistakes this was a white wine bottle and I decided that I knew I wanted it black so I spray painted it nice and easy then I decided to use a solvent based glue to actually glue the labels on so think of something like E6000 I should have used the Mod Podge couldn't find it thought oh it'll be fine and let's see if I can find it around here you can see it started to actually melt the paint underneath. Don't do that. It was a fail, but I left it on to show you guys. So once I finished printing, <laughs> once I finished printing it and gluing it on, I decided to go around the edge with just a very, very light sort of of the spray paint just so it helps blend it in. As I say, if you use Mod Podge and do it correctly, it will blend in quite nicely. So the first one I did was my occult wine. Something very special I must show you that I think you could use for this particular label. I'll pop off and get it and show you. But before I do, the second one, this is just for a red wine bottle. Um, Vampire Lust. Again, I absolutely adore these labels. I created them myself using different um, PNG images and backgrounds and things. So I'm going to give a huge thank you and a shout out to Broken Wings on DeviantArt. Again, I'll put their link below. If you hear any weird noises, it's my fish flapping around in the fish pond. I think it's mating season. So uh, yeah, there seems to be a lot of random animals mating in my videos. <laughs> In the darkling tank there was pigeons in the trees and now I've got fish. So yeah, obviously I smell like animal pheromones or something. So <laughs> yeah, um, this one I would just generally place onto a red wine bottle. And what I would also advise is to get a little piece of chain and a charm. For this one you can use a little bat charm, stick it around there so it has a little necklace of a bat. Um, and on this one you can use a pentagram so I will just pop off and grab something which I just had to show you I was dead excited when I discovered it and I think it would work perfectly for the occult wine particularly if you're not a red wine drinker and you do want to use a white wine and it's not very gothic looking it's like oh hey would you like some pure blank wine so I'll be right back I'll just show you that Right, I've got it. Oh God, please excuse the complete lack of makeup and the sweating. It is 28 degrees here in England and I'm feeling every single degree of it. So I'm just baking to death. Okay, I found this. It is from the brand Rainbow Dust, I think it is. Anyway, I'll put the link below and it's a metallic food coloring. I got this one in purple. I actually didn't get it for this DIY. I had it in the house anyway. 
and I had a brain wave. So we've just got regular old water and I'm gonna put like one drop. Here we go. Just look at that amazing swirl. So imagine pouring that out of a bottle and watching that swirling around in the glass. Oh, I just love it. So that was just a very quick video. Pop onto the website if you want to see. I've got other ones. These aren't the only labels that I've done. I've got ones for shampoo as well, all under the Countess Bathory. I've decided to do, because it will say, Countess Bathory's Miracle Treatments. So that is generally how everyone starts. And then underneath it changes the names, like uh, Rich Blood of a Young Count, something like that, and that's for the conditioner. And there's other ones. So go on have a look hopefully beautify your home make it a bit more gothic and dark let me know if there's any labels that you would like created or things like that maybe a few words changed maybe a different color scheme for the occult wine if you've got a different color metallic paint let me know and i will post that for you as well thank you very much for joining me please look after yourselves and i'll see you in the next video ciao